Now we're going to apply the mean value theorem, if we can, on this function, f of x is x cubed plus x minus 1, on this interval 0, 0. Okay? What conditions do we need to apply the, the mean value theorem? So the first thing is that we have f is defined on this interval. It's continuous and it's also differentiable on this interval uh, 0, 2. Okay? So therefore, there exists some c in this interval such that uh, f prime of c is f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2 minus 0, which is 2. Okay, so here we know that f, uh, we can compute f prime of x. So f prime of x is 3x squared plus 1. And this gives us that f prime of c is just 3c squared plus 1. We can apply it here. So we get 3c squared plus 1 is f of 2 is... Uh, uh, 10 minus 1 minus 0, it's 10. f of 2 minus f of 0 is 10 over 2, which is 5. Okay? So now we can compute the c. So we have 3c squared is 4, therefore c is plus minus 4 over 3, which is this 2 over square root of 3. Okay? So we found c. Okay. Now, if we graph the, uh, let's say we, we are interested in 0, 2, okay? So, if we graph the function, and it's, uh, I know it's x cubed, so it's going to be something like this, okay? Okay, on f is 0 is minus 1, okay? So, the, this number here, c2 over square root of 3, so it's something around here. Okay, so therefore we can find some, some, we can, we can draw some line, okay, such that this line here between 0 and 2, okay, has the same slope, okay, we can do that, I can graph it, that's what it means, okay, so f of 0 is minus 1, and f of 2 is 10, so we can find between 0 and 2 so here if we we if we graph it by calculator or or or, or if we can do it using some uh, nicely drawn technique so we're gonna see that the slope here okay this one is the same as this one here okay so that's what it means so we can find the equation of this line okay we know everything so we know this point c we know f of c we know f prime of c we can find the equation of the line going through this point as y is f of 2 over square root of 3 plus f prime of 2 over square root of 3 x times x minus 2 over square root of 3 and we're going to find the equation of this line and this tells us that there is another c but but it's not in this interval zero two so it's something around here Okay, so the C that belongs to this this interval 0, 2 is only this number, 2 over square root of 3. And this shows that this line here going through here has the same slope as the one, the line going between 0 and 2. Okay, and it's part of this function. Okay, that's what it means exactly. Okay, so we can apply the mean value theorem on this the main question was, can we apply the mean value? Yes, we can, because f is continuous, differentiable on this interval, and uh, there, therefore there exists some c between 0 and 2 not included, such that f prime of c is f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2, and we found the c. There are two of them, but only one belongs to this interval, and we have drawn the, 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 the line and the, 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 and the equation of the secant. Okay, of the, the function between 0 and 2. Okay, so yes, we can apply because we have the conditions.